Hello everyone, welcome to highlights of my first hour on Dirt 5. So, Codemaster has been nice enough to send me a review copy of Dirt 5. I might do a review in the future, let me know if you want to see that down below. But for now, this is going to be the highlights of my first hour across the game. Now, first of all, this is of course an early access copy. Um, this is a review copy, it's not the final copy. So there is a few little bugs and stuff that won't necessarily be there in the final version. Um, one of which, which actually is a bit annoying for me, is I have to use a pad. There is no wheel support actually, interestingly, as far as I'm aware, no wheel support at all in Dirt 5 on launch. I believe that will be getting fixed later in November, but for now, I will be using a pad, which is not necessarily uh, my best input device, but we'll roll with it anyway. And uh, yeah, I mean, I see some really good reviews today on Dirt 5, so hopefully it's going to be a good one. This is the highlights. Pretty intense intro, I quite like that, that was, uh, yeah, it just shows it's clearly not just a rally game, it's, uh, yeah, a full on attack on the centres that, that trailer was, or that intro was, that was, that was quite cool, that, that was a good introduction to the game. So I am going to leave everything on automatic for this video, so normally being a PC player, I normally play around a lot with the settings, um, for this one I'm going to leave everything on automatic, which presumably is how it'll be on, on all consoles as well, this of course is going to be a next gen console. Because they might one day make the leap to the dirt off-road series, and you'll want to be there from the very start. So, let's go. Okay, I like that intro as well, like a podcast style intro, I presume that theme will continue over the course of the game, but... Again, quite a good intro, like a story-led intro rather than chucking you straight into, hey, a menu, what do you want to do? Do you want to play career? Do you want to do a quick race? It's like chucking you straight into the game with a nice podcast, which is pretty cool. And now we're going to get chucked straight into a race. Again, default graphics, default controls, everything. I've not done anything at all. I've just jumped straight into the game. Feels quite natural already. Controls are just triggers, as you'd expect. Let's see how we get. I will actually just quickly go into the menus, because I just want to uh, make sure that the kind of assists a set to, to a level I'd like. I, I think I'm just going to stick with default again there. We've got, we've got casual here that, that steps out a bit too high. Intermediate seems alright. Advanced. I would be using advanced if I was on a wheel, but alas, so we'll just stick with immediate for now. Intermediate, I think, for now. Automatic gears and everything. Just just getting around this track. We've got some objectives on the left there. We've hit a speed. We've got a jump and trade paint. Now, we've also got a drift and overtake. What's drift? So that's change view. Let's have a look at the different views. Quite a few different views. Two cock cockpits. I reckon this would be cool when, when you're in with a wheel. Let's stick with that view for now. I'm guessing. No, that's that's also change view. There's two buttons to change view. To go back and forth between the views. That's I don't want to say unique, but certainly not common. What's gonna be handbrake? Don't know what handbrake is yet. Is that handbrake? I think that was handbrake, yes. Okay. Circle slash B is handbrake. We're getting into it. Interesting there's not have any intro whatsoever to the controls in this game. It's like, hey! You're now behind the wheel of a Skoda uh, VRS. I don't know what it is. It's a, some sort of Skoda. And off you go. We're not going to tell you how to control the car. <laughs> Just get on with it, lad. Go on. <laughs> okay. Very first impressions on the handling model then. I would call it accessible at the moment. Of course, I'm not on... I've got some assists on. I'm not on that full-on expert mode. But I'm also on a pad, which is not my go-to input method. I'm normally a wheel player. So, accessible. It's, it's, it's okay so far. Nothing really too much to comment, to be honest with you. Bit easy on the AI, we, we seem to be dominating them despite being brand new to this game. But is this, of course, the intro race? Seems to let us hit the walls quite a bit and we can just get through it, no problems whatsoever. We come across the line, state P1 in our first race by some way. Didn't get all of our, obje our, our objectives, but uh, we were a bit behind for that. P1, I'm hoping that that was not the complete pace of the AI, but I'm sure there's a way to turn it up in just a moment. Nice and easy P1. I skipped through that, I shouldn't have done. That was quite cool. Quite a cool feature to end the race. Just show you the kind of the podium with the cars. Got some rep being given here. In the form of a flame. This is all nicely designed, I have to say. I'm, I'm, I'm far from a designer, but at the moment I'm enjoying the way this is all laid out. And, and it seems to be pretty cool. Again, this is now this has now chucked us in the menu. So that was a nice intro to the game. But it has now just chucked us in the menu and just said, hey, what do you want to do? So we'll, we'll jump straight in with some career mode. And this is all about making a name for yourself, right? Yes. Yes, I am right. Okay, again, I quite like that intro. Just uh, AJ there speaking to us and telling us a bit about it. Yes, okay, it's still menu-led. It, you know, it could perhaps be a bit better in, in that respect. But it's still nice to, to have a guy talking you through it rather than just kind of chucking you straight in and letting you figure it all out for yourself. Codemasters are our sponsor. The game makers are sponsoring us to play the game. 
presume that will change in time. So we've got a few events to choose from here. One thing I've not liked about Dirt, so I'm going to be honest, I've not played a huge amount of Dirt itself in the past. I've played a lot of Dirt Rally, however, because I'm very much, a, I guess, a racing purist. I just like to drive cars. So Dirt Rally is always a quite a raw rally game, and I do really enjoy that. I've not played a huge amount of Dirt because I didn't like how it forces you into the kind of more, I guess, arcade events. Um... I want to just drive the rally events primarily. Now I know that this game isn't just a rally game, but um, I hope it doesn't just force me into doing certain events that I just do not want to do. Okay, well we'll jump into our next event then. Before we do that, we're going to see if we can up the difficulty level. We can indeed look very hard. Let's go for very hard in the settings. Again though, that's hidden in a setting that's kind of annoying. I wish it was, was perhaps dynamic would be the ideal, but if not, you know, worst case, it should probably say, hey, what setting do you want? But anyway, we're going to go Rally, rally Raid. Raid. is a start to finish, point to point race through... Again, I do like that kind of podcast style intro to, to each thing, explains what they are. I think I would perhaps like it if it was just connected a bit better between each race rather than just chucking you back to a menu and, and letting you figure stuff out for yourself in the meantime. As much as I don't want it to be a completely guided kind of tutorial, um, it'd be cool if they're perhaps a bit more involved in the menu, you know, say you get to the main menu and they say, hey... Do you want to change the, the difficulty level because we know you won that race comfortably or something like that maybe or change the assists. All that is just in the, in the settings. But anyway, this is this race. We're now on very hard AI so this should be a big, bigger challenge. Still on intermediate um, assist settings. It seems to be quicker in a straight line which is a bit annoying. Oh. Oh no. Luckily that was a, a solid barrier. Straight up the inside. Don't mind if I do. Up to P1. Let's go. Keep it flat, keep it lit, oh, bit of contact in the air, back up to P1, need to keep it tight though, we're running wide, no, we're going to lose it again, oh, almost hit the end of that barrier, I think we're going to get, not going to be able to win this race, you know, there's only one more real corner to go by looks of it, and we're not on the inside of it, full send, full send, full send, I regret the full send, I regret the full send, we've lost positions there, back down to P5, that was definitely a lot more challenging on the hard AI, I like how responsive these menus are, again, even on PC without an SSD, um, or without the game installed on SSD. Um, I like how responsive these menus are, that they're very, very quick. They don't feel sluggish. Okay, race number three then. Our first land rush race. We're in the Porsche this time. Nice big boy. Let's see how we get on against the very hard AI. Bit of contact. Just pushing that way through the field. Doesn't Damage doesn't seem to do a lot. I am actually going to have a quick check on my... Uh, my driving ace to make sure there's no kind of damage thing off. ABS, stability. I, eh. I will turn stability management off. Whoa. Wasn't watching. Going to go up the inside. Dive bomb. Really got that stopped there. That wasn't necessarily the most realistic physics in the world. But we got through it. I don't think this game is supposed to be the most realistic game in the world. Oh, big bit of contact there. Didn't seem to cause any damage to our car somehow. We just got T-bone. There's no damage. Seems dive bombs are not the way to go. We're getting pushed into the wall. Stop pushing me. Why is he pushing me? Look. What is he doing? What are you doing? What are you gaining from doing that? <laughs> God's sake. Now we're in 11th. You can definitely dive bomb really easily because damage isn't really a thing. And to be honest, collisions aren't really a thing either. I mean, you do collide, obviously, but it doesn't seem to do anything. There's no real damage. There's no. Like, just nothing happens, to be honest. Like you just I'm not actually going to hit him, but you just you just sort of bash into them and you don't get spun out, they don't get spun out, you just sort of chill. See again, <laughs> collisions just benefit you. <laughs> There's no reason why you wouldn't just smash into the inside of someone when you're trying to overtake them. So we got the inside here, I think the finish line's coming up. Squeeze him out. Lovely done. P5. Just. Another P5. In the Porsche. Very hard AI. Turns out they're very hard. Okay, so let's get into the livery, livery creator then. I'm not going to lie, this isn't necessarily my bag. I'm very much a default livery kind of guy. But we'll get into it just to see what it's like. So this seems to be quite customizable so far. There's a few different layers there that we can we can tweak. Should we make a, a really like a horrific car? We'll have pink there. And on layer one we'll have like a horrible lime green. Oh yeah, that is that is the that is the design we go for. Layer two, we'll have a I don't know a, a blue like a yes. This is coming together, and one more layer for the for the design. What color should we have? Horrible as possible, perhaps a yellow. Oh yeah, that's that's what we like to see. Look at that thing of beauty. <laughs> Wheel color. What color should we have our wheels? Just green. Just just lime green. Lime green is just an op color. 
decal editor. We haven't got many, I presume you'll unlock these as you go along. We'll have, we'll have the strong carrot. Boom. That's a new livery. Look at it. It's a thing of beauty, ladies and gentlemen. Thing of beauty. Look at it. Look at it. Oh. Lovely. Uh, isn't that the best car you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Just look at it. It's just, it's, it's a thing of beauty. I'm, I'm welling up. It's just lovely. You love to see it. Let's get racing. Let's get it dented. It's a stampede! <laughs> it's a stampede! I mean, I'm not going to lie. For me personally, already those are getting a bit long. Because they may, mainly just, they just talk for the sake of talking. They didn't really add anything then. They they just they it's just a podcast where they where they just they just chat. Um, we'll see if it develops into something a bit a bit more meaningful to what I'm doing or to to what they're introducing me to. But anyway, the beautiful car is a go. Absolutely awful corner there. We're gonna dive. We're gonna get him. Have some of that. Get in the bin. Again, it seems to be very much this game with contact is the way forward. It's a contact game. This one, a contact sport, a contact game. He braked a little bit for some reason across there. We'll take that position, thank you very much. Get the cut back, lovely jubbly. P1, baby. Terrain doesn't seem to make a ridiculous difference either. I, again, I know it's not a sim, but... Oh, but like, you know, going over wet patches, going over mud patches, it's not... I don't know if it'll feel maybe a bit better on a wheel, but it's not... doesn't seem to make a huge amount of difference to the car. <sighs> See, yeah, we almost tipped then. For some reason, we just auto-corrected back down. <laughs> it seems these cars are virtually untippable. No! Oh, he's pushed me! Oh, that was close. You clearly wanted to go the right lane, I wanted to go the left lane. So I guess we'll just go for another rally raid. And with a new 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 vehicle, what even is that? That looks like a tractor to me. I don't know what that is, that's the only one we can choose. So let's roll with it, I'm not going to bother with delivery this time. He's break very early. I don't know if the AI skill is maybe like dynamics, if you're leading they will just buck their ideas up. Oh, near the tree, managed to just avoid it. Are we alongside this guy? I don't know if we are. We're going to try and dive though. Oh, get it stopped. Turn! Just got caught on that guy. We just couldn't get around the corner. <gasps> oh, we're going to push the wall then. Break very early. Oh no, oh no, that's why they break early. Oh god! <laughs> Let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. Wheel spin, wheel spin. Okay, back down to 11th. Second from last. Let's see if we can catch up. Don't think we're going to make many positions up. Although, <laughs> again, Remember that this is a review version of the game. So, clearly those issues were not meant to happen. They were just accelerating into the wall. One guy jumped off to the left, trying to get to the other path, weirdly. Okay, we're just going to crack on now. We're not going to bother with the other land rush. We've done one of those. We're going to go to an ultra cross. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure they'll tell us in just a moment. Let's see if we can buy a better car. We've got a bit of money now. We've got 251,000 dirt points, I assume is what they're called, or something similar. Ford Fiesta RS Mark II. Let's do it. And as I bought it, let's do a little livery. Let's do one of our our famous liveries. It's a beast. Look at it. Thing of beauty. No one's ever designed a better car. I like how the license plate's dirt five. Beautiful. Up to P4, easy money. It's always up the inside. Oh, the drift, the drift of dreams, the drift of dreams. Oh God, I might have got sucked into that wall. Dive bomb! Easy money, easy money. It's nice to have a car that's actually got as much power as my rivals. Dive bomb! <laughs> It's definitely the way forward in this game. It's just a, it's just a game of dive bombs, really, isn't it? And there we go. Come across line P1. Only just at the end, but actually that was quite a boring race. We were quite comfortable in the lead. Turns out, if you buy the best car, it's <laughs> very hard AI. Aren't actually that hard. Okay, let's do it. Our lovely Ford Fiesta. Oh God, we can put. Why are you just pushing me? Stop. Turn left. It's a left-hand corner. Let's do it. Lovely dive bomb. You'd love to see it. The Citroen's decided to also do a dive bomb. Squeeze him into the wall. Get him on the snow. Nice drift. Oh, yes. Lovely bounce. Get out. You definitely gain from hitting people in this in this game. Let's do it. Because they, they, they just don't seem to go run, run much wide and you just float. Oh, God. He's going to hit us, though. Okay, we're going to try our first sprint race then in Dirt 5. And look at that thing. 
<laughs> Incredible. Do you even wing, bro? Wow, look at the paint job as well. Really nice pearlescent paint that just changes colour as you spin round. Really nice stuff. 907 brake horsepower. All right, default livery. Let's do it. I love the wheels. Same. If you want different size tires on every single one of your wheels, Sprint's got you covered, baby. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the comedy. I, I think they are useful. They kind of explain what this event's going to be. Um, I would like them to talk maybe a bit more about, about me, about the career, about, you know, that there's a rookie entering or whatever, and that he's, he's been doing well recently, coming up through the ranks, something like that would be quite cool, but... They're kind of useful nonetheless to explain new events to me. But anyway, let's get going. 900 and something horsepower. Oh my god, a wheelie. Okay, we shouldn't have backed out clearly. We're going to just lunge. Oh my god. Oh my god. These ca What are these cars? Everybody's in the wall. Everybody's in the wall. Oh, this guy's not accelerating. I can't go off the wall. I can't go off the wall. I can't go off the wall. Turn left. Oh my god. Stupid cars. It's P7. They were mental. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. Not that fun to drive. They were just weird. Not on a pad at least. Maybe they'll be fun on the wheel. To compete in a main event, you need enough stamps. To unlock the next chapter, you need to finish at least third. Okay, that makes sense. It looks like we've got enough stamps, I guess. Um, 15 out of 375. Yeah, it looks like we've got enough. Conveniently as well, this is 55 minutes into my first hour playing Dirt 5. So this will be the final race. Uh, of Dirt 5, so that's worked quite nicely. So it takes an hour to do the first chapter, it seems, roughly, if you if you skip out all of these events. Um, let's get into it, then. Let's see, we need to finish, I think, what did he say, top three, top five, maybe, to get advanced, so let's try and at least get a podium. Try and come across here. There we go, Die Bomber Dreams. Up to P3 from the start. This game's all about the Die Bombs, you already know. Oh, no, don't want to be hitting that wall. Ah... Uh... Luckily, we hit him. Now look, it's going to be P1, isn't it? Just about. We didn't actually hit him, but it, we got it done. And there we go. P1 in a main event. Again, bit of an easy race, not going to lie. Very hard AI, You're not quite challenging enough. I don't know if we're just getting particularly to grips with this handling model. Um, but quite a comfortable P1, bit of a boring race. Top of the podium, though, in a main event. That's got to be a good thing. That's been Dirt 5, guys. That was the first hour highlights. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. What are my first impressions on the game? So I will say that the handling is very much designed to be accessible. Um, so if you're looking for a Dirt Rally style game, this is not the one for you, whether you're on pad or not. Um, I was on very hard AI um, using just intermediate settings, so just a bit of traction control and some ABS. Um, and was able to, with a decent enough car, quite easily dominate the races. It's very much all about dive bombs, contact, contact, car contact seems to be the way to go forward because you just dive up their inside. They don't really run wide, but you just kind of hit them and bounce off them and then carry on. So it's definitely dive bomb is the way forward. Um, so obviously I've only done career mode so far. So we've just did, a, you know, several races there in career mode. Um, you know, I'm sure there's, there's lots of other stuff to do in the game. You've got online, obviously just an arcade race. You've got the playgrounds mode as well, which I know is a big part of it. Um, I really just want to do career mode because, you know, I'm very much a kind of gameplay focused type of gamer. You know, I would play Dirt Rally and I would just, just, just play it just to enjoy the racing. This is, this is almost shouldn't share the same name as Dirt Rally. I realized that the, Dirt, the main Dirt series preceded the Dirt Rally series, but um, it's very, very different. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like MotorStorm meets uh meets forza horizon 4 career mode at least is very much fixed you, you know you go in the way that it says yes okay sure you can skip out some events but actually you largely go in the way that it says you should go um the paths are quite limited there's there's no upgrades you, yeah okay you can tweak the liveries um a little bit restrictive in terms of that i would say they would definitely benefit i think this sort of game would really work well if it was forza horizon 4 style where you kind of buy a car and you can then upgrade it and you drive it to a next event then you go to another event and oh hey you haven't got the right car for that so you have to go back to your to, to the showroom and buy another car that would be so cool and that would really add an element to this i think as it is it's kind of fixed the way you go through it so um they haven't necessarily done the, the kind of the way they've done it justice with the with the podcasts and stuff and all that sort of thing um, and kind of building up your player reception, building up money. Again, if it was kind of Forza Horizon 4 open world style, that'd be so much better. Onto the good. Obviously, it does look great. I think this game is very much designed to be a kind of next-gen release title. So it's designed to just show off what the new consoles can do and be a fun driving game. Again, a lot like MotorStorm was on, on was it the PS3, um, designed to just, just kind of showcase a new console and just be there on launch. A fun enough game if you're into really, really casual racing. If you're into anything more than casual racing, I would say this game is probably not for you. 
But anyway, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see a kind of full review on this video, if you want to see any more of this sort of content on my channel. Do comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.